A ball of mass 0.5 kilograms initially at rest is kicked directly toward a fence from a point 32 meters away, as shown above. The velocity of the ball as it leaves the kicker's foot is 20 meters per second at an angle of 37 degrees above the horizontal. The top of the fence is 2.5 meters high. The ball hits nothing while in flight and air resistance is negligible. Part A. Determine the time it takes for the ball to reach the plane of the fence. Well, in the x direction, the velocity of the ball from the moment it is, leaves the kicker's foot is going to stay constant. So all we need to know is the distance that the fence is away from the kicker and the velocity in the x direction the moment the kicker, the ball leaves the kicker's foot. And we can use the kinematics equation, distance equals velocity in the x direction times time. Rearranging for t, we divide by v in the x direction on both sides, and looking at the given sine theta, cosine theta, and tan theta values at the top, we can see that velocity in the y direction will be 20 times sine of 37, and the velocity in the x direction will be 20 times cosine of 37. So the total time that the ball spins in the air is 2 seconds. 32 divided by 20 times 0.8. Part B. Will the ball hit the fence? If so, how far below the top of the fence will it hit? If not, how far above the top of the fence will it pass? Well again, we're going to want to use a kinematics equation, but this time we're going to need an equation that not only includes time, but also is in the y direction and can include gravity that will be accelerating the ball in the vertical direction. So we're going to want to use this equation. Plugging in our values, again we're going to use only the velocity in the y direction for v and looking at the value at the top, that's going to be 20 times sine of 37 or 20 times 0.6. Plugging in the values, we get that the ball will pass the fence at a height of 4 meters, and because the fence is 2.5 meters tall, that means that it will clear the fence by 1.5 meters. Part C. On the axes below, sketch the horizontal and vertical components of the velocity of the ball as a function of time until the ball reaches the plane of the fence. Well, we know the plane of the fence is going to be 2 seconds into the trajectory, so we can stop our lines at 2 seconds. And the velocity in the horizontal direction is going to stay constant throughout the whole flight. So we're going to use our velocity in the x direction, and we calculate that to be 16 meters per second. So we can just draw a straight line at 16 from 0 to 2 seconds. In the vertical direction, we're going to use the equation v in the y direction equals v times sine of theta. And plugging in our values, we get that the initial velocity in the y direction is 12 meters per second. But we know that the slope of a v, v versus t graph is acceleration. And the acceleration due to gravity is negative about negative 10 meters per second squared. So if the ball starts out traveling at 12 meters per second, I'm going to draw a dot at 12. And then if it's decreasing uh, by 10 meters per second per second, after one second, we should be down to 2 meters per second. And after 2 seconds, we will be at negative 8 meters per second. So we can just connect a dot where our slope now represents the acceleration due to gravity, and we have the correct initial and final velocities in the y direction.